Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we have an important topic. It's not over yet. So prepare yourself for what is coming into your life. So I just went through comments and I saw an important comment when somebody was asking what to do because he was visualizing his future. Everything was happening the way it should, you know, the way that he believed that his vision of the future, of his future, his dreams will finally manifest. And then something happened and that dream was over. Something happened and that dream was taken away from him, you know, whatever it was. So I'm dedicating this video to everyone who think you know, when we go through those experiences, we think that everything is finally happening and then some painful event occurs and we think it's over. We think it's over. A certain person came and tell us that, you know, things need to happen differently that we've expected or whatever it is and our dreams are taken away from us. I want to remind you that when events like that happen, there's a bigger reason behind it. And I want to talk about it. So I want to remind you that it's not over. When those things happen, it's not over. So what actually is happening is that the universe is preparing you to truly become that person of your future. And if we want to become that person which have all those things, which is on that emotional, mental level, that can have all those things, the things that you in the present moment are dreaming about, the universe is preparing you. So many times certain events in your life happens the way they happen. So you can see how will you react to those things. You know, those events many times are really dramatic. Sometimes they are like triggering a lot of fear, a lot of anger. Those are emotions. It's all okay. Feeling those emotions, it's all okay. It's natural. We are human beings. And when we are experiencing those emotions, many times we start identifying ourselves with them. And when we start identifying ourselves by those emotions, we believe what we feel emotionally and we stop believing into our dreams. So now we've been tricked by our emotions. So what is the purpose of that event? The purpose of that event is to teach you to become stronger than your emotions. This is really powerful, my friends. That's how to prepare yourself for what will come into your life. To be prepared for manifesting your vision of the future is to become stronger of any emotion that is pulling you down, that is pulling you away from your dreams, away from your vision of the future. Every time when we say that something happened and took away our dreams, we've been tricked by our emotions. Nothing can pull away your dreams. Nothing can pull away your best possible experience of life. Because this is who you are, my friends. You are here to experience life in, in its full light and nobody can take it from you. If you fall into a certain emotional state, let's say anger or fear or frustration or sadness, you will feel that you are not experiencing life to its full potentials. But it doesn't mean that this is who you are and that you will stay there for the rest of your life. It just means that you are in a certain emotional reaction and you can choose to overcome it. So the biggest challenge is not to manifest our dreams. Manifesting our dreams is easy. What is not easy is overcoming those emotions. Because once we overcome those emotions, 
everything will manifest really fast because our energy will become much stronger. We will feel more connected with everything. We will be more aligned with ourselves. So this video is really important because every time when we think it's over, we are back in the emotional reaction. We are back in that um, triggered state where we've been tricked by our emotions. So emotions are not bad. They are indicators that we need to change something. And it's completely natural to feel them. So don't blame yourself. Don't rush in anything. If th some things happen in your life the way that you didn't expect, it's also your teacher that life is unpredictable. It's not our job to predict the future. It's not our job to predict each next step. Our job is to know what we want, to send the intentions, but then enjoying the journey. The point is in happiness, my friends. Happiness is not coming with predictions, with knowing how things should happen. There is no happiness in that. Happiness is comes from spontaneous actions, from spontaneous results. Of course, when we are dreaming about something and then it happens, it brings us happiness, but it's a really short-term happiness. The real happiness is coming from living life in that moment where you can spontaneously decide, well, right now I will do that. And I will take action. And I will see how far I can push it. And if I have a clear idea what I want to create with it, I will go as far as I can with it, as long as I'm having fun with it. And this is our idea. But during that work, dur during that process, some spontaneous things will happen which we couldn't predict, but if we will know how to enjoy in them, life will always be fun. But it doesn't mean that we will not be experiencing fear and anger and frustration. Those are emotions which we need to learn to embrace, to overcome, to go beyond them. And that's what life is teaching you at that moment. So if you are going through something and you think that your dreams were just taken away. Let's say right now this pandemic is happening and many people could blame it for not being able to do something. Let's say for example not being able to travel. And we could say well I'm a, I'm a victim of, of the pandemic because I can't travel. But still there are many things we can do. You can travel into your local forest, which maybe you haven't been there for more years. You can travel to, to your beach and maybe you will... Just because you will go there, you will experience something completely new. Maybe you will meet a special person or maybe something unexpected will happen. Or maybe you will find out that you can actually travel to certain countries and just because you will go there, which you would not think about it if everything would be normal or as it was before, you will open yourself to some completely new opportunities. And that's what life is teaching you, to open yourself to the new opportunities. So, whatever it is, sometimes we lose our money. And we think, oh, our dreams were taken away from us. But soon after that, we learn how to survive without not having so much money. So once we create more money, we can appreciate it more. And we treat it more wisely. We invest it more wisely. You know, all the things in life have 
its purpose. Everything happened for a reason. So we just need to recognize the reason, the meaning in each moment, in each situation. And we're always talking about it. But still, when we go through experiences, it's something completely else when it is happening to us. You know, it's easy to be smart. It's easy to talk about it. But when we are going through it, it's not so easy, right? So I went through it many times and I've learned what I'm talking to. I've learned through my experiences and still sometimes it is happening. But now I'm not victimizing myself anymore. And because I'm not victimizing myself anymore, solutions appear really fast. And then I, I realize, whoa, it, it's such a blessing. You know, I'm grateful that those things happened. So appreciate, you know, even if it seems hard to appreciate what is happening, through appreciating where you are, you will see greater opportunities. But never define yourself by the certain emotional state that you are. Never define yourself by fear, by anger, by frustration, by, by sadness. Focus on joy, my friends. Go out for a run. Go out for a walk. Go meditate. Do a longer meditation to lose yourself in nothingness. So you can reconnect back with that inner joy, which is always within you, but somehow you've lost the connection with it because you are, you are too focused on your dreams, so you forgot what life is all about. Dreams are like a certain destination on the map, but somebody needs to walk that path. And the whole joy is in walking that path. Not in reaching your dreams, but in walking that path. And while walking, we will experience something like you are experiencing right now. And it's natural. What we truly need to learn is how to overcome those emotions which are blocking you on that path. How to embrace those emotional states which are pulling you back to where you were. And... To learn to do that is our life's mission, probably. Because once we overcome those survival emotions, you know, anger, fear, all of that, we become pure love. We become pure kindness, pure compassion. So if our mission of life is to learn how to overcome the states, we will become pure love pure compassion, pure kindness. And maybe the purpose of that mission is to become back pure love, pure kindness, pure compassion. So we can be an example of that for those who haven't found it yet. So we can shine brighter for them. So we can bring more of that wisdom to others. So this is it for today, my friends. It's not over. Remember that whatever happens, if you have a dream, if you have a vision, whatever happened, nothing can take away your dreams. Maybe on that path, your dreams will change because they will. Your purpose will change. Your clear vision of the future will change. It will get more details. Some things in that will change, especially material things, because we start looking on life differently. But if you have that dream, that's what you have, that's, that's within you, nobody can take it from you. So never blame that certain person took it from you. You just feel emotional resentment, you feel emotional... Yeah, like tension. But nobody, nothing can take it from you. As long as you have it within you, you will be guided towards it. Remember that you are not being punished. You have been tested. And be grateful for that. Because that's where we gain strength. 
that's where we gain power and that's where we gain greater understanding of life to also see if all those things are truly important or there's something else which I want to experience. But you will see, this is your path. So I'm sending love, blessings and power to all of you. Have a beautiful day and I hope you've enjoyed today's painting. I hope it can bring you some inspiration to walk on that path easily and with more creative power, creative energy. To believe that you can design your life the way you choose to design it. So this is it. One love my friends.